Hello everyone, and thank you for stopping by. My name is Sergeant Z-Dog. You are watching the Slytherin Group Twitch channel. Today we're going to be streaming some Battlestar Galactica Deadlock. This is going to be the Ghost Fleet Offensive. And we're going to be continuing the campaign for this DLC. We left off, uh, I think we've got... Yeah, this is Mission 5, so we've finished off uh, story mission four. Since we've been running through the story mission so quick, despite doing some of the resource missions, our Cylon threat has actually gotten kind of high, so we're going to kind of slow it down a little bit so that we can get a little more of the, uh, get the threat brought down. Because um, with the threat so high, the penalties are getting kind of up there. Um, I've also been repeatedly forgetting to send ships over to uh, <laughs> ready for the raider swarms. Yeah, we're the raider swarms are special. We're gonna have to keep on our toes with the debris mines. Um, so what I was thinking I would do is I'm gonna try uh, running a mission with Galactica here on the resource mission rather than one of our various support fleets. This one needs a new Minerva. Um, do we have one under construction? No. Let's get a, before I forget, I'm gonna start building a Minerva. There we go. Okay. Um, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna run a side mission, a resource mission here with Galactica. We even already have a replacement Artemis, which is good. We'll we'll try doing that. Bring nukes this time. Um, you know, with just starting the construction of that replacement Minerva, we don't really have the Tillium. I think for nukes i don't know let's see how much is this going to pay us this is going to pay us a thousand tillium um, and of course if things go well i'm going to end up spending a bunch of course our build costs are up by 50 percent mm, we'll see maybe uh we'll see how many other repairs and how much it's going to it's going to cost me 290 just to jump into this mission So there's our orders out. I did almost get swamped. There were there was a lot. Um, yeah. Fortunately, with all the battle stars, I don't feel like nukes are as useful. You know what I I almost wish is the colonials had like an even bigger nuke. Like Cylons just got the cluster nuke, which caps out at 240 damage. It'd be cool if Colonials got just a nuke that was just a little bit bigger so you could one-hit kill uh, Revenants. Because they can't quite do that. Oh, that makes me sad. Wah! No, we're not bringing nukes. We can't even afford to replace what we got. Oh, of course. Oh, we already have nukes. That are already paid for. Um. Ouch. That's that's horrible. Okay, let's see. Can uh, okay. So PCMs were not PCMs and debris mines. This is pretty much all Viper two replacements. What about the ARPs? We're not replacing ARPs. Okay, so we're just gonna have to start dropping Viper 2s until we're in at our budgetary. Uh, let's actually, rather than doing that, let's see which ones are the most expensive. Um, okay. That's 
48. Oh, ha. Okay, so this is actually telling us stock 0 of 8. So um, that, that means there's none there right now. We're going to be replacing all of them. Okay. That one and that one. See by contrast. Oh, this is a raptor. We needed a raptor on this last time. That's right. I forgot about that. Uh, so let's see if I bring that. This one is somehow at negative numbers. How did what? Well, that's a weird bug. How is that? Um, 46 and 48 is 93, right? No, 94. Okay, no, it's... Alright, so at least it's just a graphical bug there. Though it's weird that it's showing that here too. Interesting that this is a calculated value and not just a shown value. I wonder if that's because like we brought this back in uh repaired them or something anyway we're clearly okay there we go so i could like drop these arps to get back one of those hyper twos but that's painful all right well our nukes are already paid for from last time, so we'll still bring the nukes. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, only nine ships, quote unquote, only nine ships. <laughs> it's okay, guys, they only outnumber us two to one. Um, so we're gonna, and of course they're already, you know, decently below plane on us so we're gonna bring our ships back to hide our continuous pixel perfect you know what I don't like that that's too high up let's bring that down to there Uh, for people that are wondering, uh, we space the Jupiter 2 higher, uh, not just for the Battlestar artillery, but also to make it easier for the Celestia's drones to get between. Um, the drones kind of are able to uh, cheat and squeeze through spaces that uh, they don't actually render as being able to squeeze through. We have to play around with that as we travel along, but that's fine. Um, but having a little bit, they do still need some space. Um, this will actually give us time to uh, move the nukes from the Celestra onto the Jupiters as well, being in the back like this. So let's get going. Prepare to jump in three, two, one. Now the trick here is going to be Train remembering to Cylon marks exactly where we thought they'd be. Restock to Viper two so when we have Tillium for it. Um, and oh, good, we do have relay orders. Uh, that'll help. So. I'll probably do like the Celestra and the two Artemis. Um, but we want to do that at the end. Guys, your job is to help me remember to use those relay orders. Otherwise, the Ghost Fleet Offensive is going to go very poorly when it's nothing but Galactica. So say we all. Okay. Um, so you're going to start uh, deploying armor. Launching drones. And let's... Uh, let's see, debris mines are on the Artemis. Uh, let's go ahead and 
put the PCMs away for now. Yes, sir. I think. Uh, but we will go ahead and get a couple going out there. Um, how far out can we get these? Oh, we can get these nice and far out. Okay. So we're do there. And nice little fence going on. Launching mines. And uh, let's see. We're gonna say like so. And we're gonna keep that fence thing. Okay. Um, so that's movement. We can't restock both munitions at the same time. Okay, I think that's everything. What was he got? Scrambler? Okay, good. I was going to be annoyed if that was a PCM and catch like all of our mines here. <laughs> it's just like, no, such a waste. Okay. Anywho, um, you guys go on out. You are part of the ARP group. And um, there, I think. And yes, we're going to keep our distance for the moment. We want to give ourselves time to get more armor plating on. And we want to get that nuke armed. Um. I could split these vipers out into multi into two groups. I've got eight of them here. I think we're gonna keep them together. The only question is, do I want to not send them out and instead keep them behind our debris mine? And I think I do want to do that. So we're gonna. That there. Uh, the ARPs are gonna kind of be going a little more over that way. Doop, doop. Let's have them do steer well clear of that. And I also want to make sure that they're not what gets targeted by the fighters. Oh, oh, that was my PCM getting his scrambler. That's what that was. Um, oh, only. Oh, okay, there we go. There's four squadrons. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now, of course, the AI will just kind of trickle feed his squadrons out. So, um, well, he's only got five now. He could have more just keep showing up bit by bit. Got it. And let's see. Um, actually, you know what? It looks like we may, oops, already be in gun range here. Um. I think we are with this back pair just about okay um that's weird that you guys somehow got out of stack so okay we all. Uh, that's there you're gonna come over here i must have grabbed that artemis instead not a problem um delivery raptor isn't back yet but you do have the nuke um, let's see how's this doing on armor that's up 15 points we'll go ahead and switch over to do the next one launching drones hey thanks for the cheer are we we're cheering for the colonials though right Torpedoes off of Phobos, so those are oh, partially missing. Uh, took a hit to the top armor, but not too bad. Um, can I? Got it. Yeah, just <laughs> fire as we go. Uh, that's gonna get annihilated. And Nuke is uh, still cooling down. We will go ahead and rearm the Supply same one with a Nuke. You guys are going to flak left. Um, what are you guys 
you're the scrambler and you also have a scrambler and a torpedo to torpedo okay so the good news is these two won't be able to launch any more squadrons the bad news is it looks like these three all have more squadrons to launch um, they're at two fighters now, so they're at least base stars or servers in terms of fighter counts. Uh, let's see, you want your flag up. I'm going to say, let's drop this in like there. Um, I think even with... Uh, measly Viper ones will have this squadron battle quite handily. Very nicely, they're shooting at the free Viper ones instead of the expensive Viper twos. You know what? Just because scramblers dropping on my head are annoying, I'm gonna go ahead and turn his flak on since I don't need any more mines out anyway. Let's see, your top is at 53, your left is only at 84. Um, I think what we will still do though, is we'll go ahead and we're gonna shift to armoring Launching our drops. top armor there. Beautiful, probably could have switched targets. That's two more sets of guided munitions. Glad we went ahead and turned our flak on there. Nemesis. Probably also Nemesis. Um, let me think here. You know what? I think. And here's one of the reasons I often don't bother putting offensive munitions on my battle stars because they end up just stuck with the flak turned on anyway. Uh, we did nicely soften this up with the ARPs, which is cool. Uh, you guys, I'm gonna set you to focus fire to that. Uh, who's taking damage so far? Still just that one, uh, Viper. You guys, um, I don't really want to have to pay for their replacements. I'm gonna go ahead and recall them now. Uh, war drivers uh, being launched now, which makes all three of these base stars. This one is torpedoes and oh, the dreaded virus mines. Okay, so uh, the good news is since the vi or the raiders are leading, we'll get those knocked out. Um, okay, so I think what we're gonna do. Yes, Commander. Do something like that. Uh, whoops. Kill that, I think. You know what, we're going to go ahead and let our firepower be divided up. Yes. Good. Um, I'm just going to double check. It looks like all of our armor services in pretty good shape here, except for the top on these two Artemis, uh, and with the flak in the way that they're gonna stay that way. Um, yeah, I have a feeling we're gonna end up losing at least one of these assault raptors, which is unfortunate. Oh, squadron is dark. almost tagged that. Yep, we did just lose one of those assault raptors. Um, okay. Did you guys seriously not kill that? I mean, you're gonna. There's. Alright. I think. I think this shell right here, probably this one too, has this nemesis name on it CY458. Uh, so I think he's gonna die. Uh, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch to uh, here. Uh, 
Uh, we're still catching munitions. What do we got? Your cooldown is two turns. Um. You know what I think we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and eat these so we can get our nuke off. Mm. Or do I want to not fire the nuke? The nukes are really kind of expensive and I don't really need to waste them on a nemesis or a base star. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and recall the nuke rather than pay to replace it later um launching drones and okay you guys are gonna come around you guys are gonna come around a little more Still this way the nemesis is shooting at the celestra hasn't hit it yet but it probably will but I, <laughs> even the nemesis is, or, or the nemesis can't even pose a threat to a Celestra, really. Uh, not when it's behind four battle stars. Um, you guys need to start picking on war drivers. Do I want to split them up into teams now? I think I do. We're going to say these guys are team two, and they're going to go after this one. Say this guy's team three. I want him to finish this guy off. Got it. Crunchy, crunchy, crunchy. Friendly squadron is gone. Friendly Squadron was another ARP for me to replace. Yay, okay. You are back in group one. You guys are gonna <laughs> ice that here in a moment. Uh, you guys are gonna finish off that war driver and then you'll end up coming over here to the Raiders. Good. Okay, you guys kill that if you don't mind. And then Bringing back the PCMs. Got it. We're probably going to be doing some self flacking here to get rid of these base, to, so we can just charge in on these base stars. Star is being Crunch. That's not going to live long. The friendly squadron is dark. Missiles incoming. Oh, interesting. That was the. Art, or not the art that uh, died. Uh, let's see. You are gonna change to flak right. We're just gonna self flak all the way in. So say we all. Um, I'm on it, Commander. And then once we get down to the last base star, we'll start sending out our relay orders. The Raiders doing the suicide run on the Celestra through the flag. That did not go well for them. Okay, uh, virus mines are going to be annoying. Uh, you guys can go back into control group one. Yes, sir. Um, let's see. Cancel flak left. Uh, yeah, they could be a little closer to each other. So 
we'll do that. And we're going to, how are we doing on the nose here? You could use some more nose armor. Uh, and uh, let's go with getting Trey's contacts. It takes a while for Vipers, especially Viper ones, to chew all the way. Oh my lord. I don't really want to go through that. Um, especially not two of them. Let's see. Are you? Is he in range? He's in range. Okay. So what we can do here is we can just say, hey, uh, minimum distance that you guys can manage and still maintain your formations. And then we'll turn away like at the last moment there. And you are going to do the same kind of minimum distance moving. It's very fortunate that the Celestial Trunks are not destroyed by flak. Uh, Scrambler Guided. So this one's this probably like the same as this one where it's the virus torpedo. Um, so, kill that. We're not quite in range of that virus mine yet, but probably this turn or next turn I'm guessing is when we will see that uh, let's see if we can do something like this we'll save ourselves a few meters um, but of course I can't just turn broadside to engage these rather than nosing in on them um, do we want to do that You know what, let's go ahead and just do that now. Um, yes, Commander. Oh. You guys are too close. Uh, <laughs> nope, still, do still too close. Okay. We're going to get this. It's going to yes, be sir. fine. Is that good? There we go. Okay. Uh, and we're going to keep our flag positioned as is. This flag needs to stay covering this one, and this one's already got the flag on the correct side. Um, and that way, uh, once we turn broadside, we'll also be able to issue our relay orders without destroying our relay raptor. Hello, Van Bishop. How's it going today? Missiles in. Hey, look, we got to throw off these two virus mines. Um, okay. So you're going to change to flag right, since we're not self flagging anymore. And I'm going to go ahead and start issuing out the relay orders. that source of virus mines. You guys are going to kill that one because it's the one that's closer to being in range. Collected. Oh, nice. Those virus mine bubbles collapsing right before and virus mine wasting itself. And that's the end of that base star. So we just have this one left. The vipers will be able to pick that off. Can we issue multiple relay? Oh, we can. That's nice. Okay, only one per turn, but we can at least, we don't, it's not one individual messenger raptor that we gotta wait on. Interesting that this messenger raptor doesn't even show up here, like as a squadron. This is actual. <sighs> 
When does he, how long does that take? Retreating in one turn. Okay, that actually takes a hot minute. All right. Uh, okay, so it'll keep us from selecting a ship that already has one. Um, I guess I could do the Jupiter instead of the Artemis, but honestly, it's really hard to go wrong with doing an Artemis. Who's... I guess I got hacked. Yes, Whatever. Not that big a deal. Um... I want to make sure I wait until all of our ordered ships are away before I swoop in for the kill on this. A couple of ships jumped out. This guy should... There we go. He should have um, retreating one turn. Cool. Uh, okay, so we uh, keep that up. This viper is now without a home. And now those vipers are without homes. That's fine. They can come back here onto these Jupiters. I hear they're nice and big with lots of storage. Yes, sir. Okay, and well, that's all of our relay orders. There we go. Now we have at least some stuff over in the Ghost Fleet. And I'll bet our Vipers kill that off this turn. Beautiful. Beautiful. All hostile contacts are dark. Textbook operation, Commander. All right. We got a nice little start to our uh, Ghost Fleet Offensive now. <laughs> now that we've actually, like, sent some ships out there. Alright, then. Of course, this does mean that our Jupiter fleet is teeny tiny, or our Galactic fleet is teeny tiny now, BSG-75. Um, but at least there's less to repair, right? All right, so we're gonna transfer this back into BSG-75, uh, and that's an actual fleet that we use. This doesn't have a Celestra. This has a Celestra, so let's transfer this into BSG-75. Oh, that will need a Celestra. Okay. Now, let's see. I don't really have a good way to bring this strength up at the moment. Uh, how expensive is it? We can afford this, but not really. So we're gonna have to skip that for the moment. Uh, do we have another resource mission we can do? We do, good. Um, I'm going to send this one. We won't be able to send any ships because we don't have Galactica there. So we won't be able to send any ships to the Ghost Fleet Offensive. But we will at least be able to keep bringing this uh, threat down. Bring down these build costs and repair costs. Um, I think I do. Rather than waiting, we're going to get another Celestra building now. There we go.
All right, we're getting a good number of people in here. We've got 83 people. How's everybody coping with uh, being locked in? I know things are going pretty well here. But how are things going with you guys? Oh my lord. Look at all the ships. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oof. Oof. Okay. Well, these guys are close enough to the right formation. I'm not going to worry about it. Um, at 14 ships, I'm going to be really surprised if there aren't a decent number of revenants. So we're going to have him kind of in the back there. Um, yeah, PCMs to replace debris mines, I think, is going to be the way to go. Uh, and we do at least... <laughs> Just barely. Actually, not even just barely. We're only going to be using about half of our tillium to get everything repaired. Cool. All right. Well, hopefully, we'll be able to bring our flak down some so we can use the munitions on our Minervas. Because they do have. They are pretty punchy. Hello, John Kaminsky. How's it going? Prepare to jump in three, two, one. Multiple Dreadus contacts, all hostile. Time for a good old fashioned brawl, Commander. Good old fashioned brawl. This is more like a slug fest. Look at how many targets there are. Good lord. Alright. Yes, sir. Uh, and of course, our Minervas. We gotta be careful to actually pay attention to the health of our Minervas so that we don't lose one this time. Um, we're gonna. Good lord. Get our Launching debris lines. fences out. You know what? I have them diving. Mmm. We'll do that just in case there's torpedoes this turn, but I um, Well, and you know what? There are some targets below us anyway, so... Yeah, we're probably gonna just need to do the diving thing. Uh, you, though, let's... Yes, Commander. Not get... Out in front. Where are you guys going? Didn't I have you armoring the front one? Yeah, they're just going around. Weird direction. That's fine. Okay. I am... Just gonna say, everyone, come to about here. Gotta have these guys come in more like so. Even that line up a little. Oh, 
look at this. That's oh beautiful. Oh look at that. Alright. Um ARPS. We're gonna have you guys come back. And these guys are gonna come back. You guys need to come back. I kind of want to get at least the one Dreadus lock there, though. That's the kicker. All right. Fine. We're gonna just, uh, you guys will come back. You guys will come forward. You guys will stay. What are you guys? You're, you're coming back? Yeah. Do that. Uh, I'm gonna say flag left just in case. Hopefully, no munitions, and I can get my own guided munitions out this turn from the Minervas. Have come back off oh yeah, that's a good thing to hit with the munitions. Squadron is taking fire. Hostile unit identified. Okay. What's this guy? Guided missiles. Okay. Oh yeah, three revenants. That's that's a heck of a start to this party. Um, you go ahead and start Launching armoring drugs. that. Uh, turn off our flak. Um, we're going to say fire munitions at this one here. Because you guys are going to be able to start shooting at that one. Got it. Um, and hopefully... I probably should have done this bit Supply earlier. We don't eat too many. Uh, you guys, go ahead and pick on that. Got it. Looks like the uh, debris mine is doing a good job at at least softening up a lot of these. Um, you know what we will do? Is we're going to renew it as well. Launching mines. Okay. Um, I don't think I'm going to bother recalling that. I think that's everything. He acts cool, but internally he's totally panicking about the three revenants. Uh, no, three revenants isn't too bad when you've got two Minervas and two Jupiters. Um, What's more concerning is that there's probably like Argos and stuff back here. Yeah, see like that massive munitions volley that hopefully is gonna not quite... Oh, so we're gonna take a few hits here because obviously some of it's inside the flag. Um, but that's beautiful. See, we got all of our missiles away. That just melted. That's gonna get roughed up real good here um, by the... AP and guided munitions. Yeah, beautiful. Okay. Um, I don't really like these arachnids being under me, but there's not. Oh, geez, that got roughed up good. Um, I still this still has less armor, so we're still gonna keep armoring that. But I do need to keep an eye on that Jupiter because it does like look at all these munitions coming at this Jupiter they're focusing it pretty hard um now oh hey where are you guys at I, let's, I should remember I have these uh let's actually you know what got it let's go after that um 
paint that one. You. Oh, let's see. You guys are shooting at the top one now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you're gonna paint this one. And then I want to issue Sorry. the attack order again because uh, paint has a tendency to also issue attack orders. Um, you are out there. Okay, now, um, you guys go ahead and finish that off. You guys, no, no, maybe, no, that one, Got it. don't really want him diving me. Missiles here. And I, hopefully that should... Okay, it didn't knock out the fire control, but it will at least soften it. Um, and we killed that, which is good. So you guys go ahead and uh, paint this one now and keep shooting at that. Okay. You're at 74, you're at 80, 52, 11. Oof. Oof. <sighs> All right. Um, so. The good news here is He's running out of guns. Like, this thing has taken some fire control damage. The ARPS will, of course, keep softening it up. Uh, we're going to blast this out of the sky this turn. Um, these guys aren't quite in range yet. Uh, that's... Okay. Can you guys... Okay, yeah, that's a good one to go after. I don't. Oof, of course, I don't really want him. <laughs> I don't really want them getting too close to that debris cloud. Like, that's helping out, and let's keep the debris cloud as helping and not hindering. Um, you guys, how are we doing? Go ahead, uh, pick on that as well. You guys are still rearming. Um,. Can't swap out that other PCM yet. It's not back. Okay. I think that's the most we can do this turn. All of these munitions just getting wasted on these on this flag. Um I may actually need to climb some. We'll see how close this battle star gets. Wow, this guy. Oh, probably munitions in the back. Maybe? I mean, that's the front, but I... Oh, that's another Revenant? He's got more? Rude. Uh, idle guns and the Arachne and the Assault Raptors doing work here. Um, mm, let's see. Salvo Go ahead. Here. Fire that. But start shooting at this one. You're gonna paint there. Uh, how are we doing armor wise? Armor is punched through. I'm gonna go ahead and say switch to full defense. I don't really need all four of them to kill things. Especially not this Arachne that's almost dead. We're gonna keep sliding back um, supply raptors are ready and with them firing munitions on both of them uh, we can't really do anything wow I wonder what did so much damage to that probably vipers that got bored because their target was dead okay you guys no no, no. There's so many. There's just so many. Uh, oh, that's actually the last one in that grouping. 
So we basically only have one grouping now. Confirmed squadron target. So yeah, just everybody go after that one. I guess I could. Uh, do do do. Um, the only problem is I can't get debris mines out either. Uh, yep, that's just, that's going to have to be the way this is. Uh, maybe after this nuke comes in, we might switch sides, switch armor surfaces. Jupiter is taking damage. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna switch. Um, Deploying counter. PCM not really needed. Launching drones. Uh, let's see. What are these? These are at least some guided. Eventually, they will run out of guns. <laughs> uh, you are going to paint this one. You guys go ahead and keep shooting at that. You guys uh, kill it. Kill it dead. Showing. Oh, because he doesn't have any. They're over on the raptor. Right, right. Um, yep. Do I want to keep you in full defense? Yeah, we'll just go ahead and do that. Jupiter is taking damage. They're back to shooting. That one, of course, since I switched it. To, oh, jeez. Oh, it's getting roughed up good, guys. Okay. Um, no nukes on the way. We do have some torpedoes. They'll get here in just a moment. I think what we're going to do is we're going to say, you guys come around this. You heart defense. This one left. You're going to also stay hard defense. Uh, this is getting roughed up, but not nearly as quick as we'd like. Uh, this is the end of the Vipers, pretty much. What are we... Uh, they should be able to finish that off, because this one's, like, right on his tail already. Um, but that's probably going to be the last of those. And let's see. You... Uh, we're going to... Throw it out a PCM, and this probably won't do anything, but we're gonna try it. Actually, let's do it more like here, so that if it does succeed, they don't both go off for the same munitions. Missiles incoming. Battlestar is taking damage. Beautiful. Oh, nice, and we killed that Arachne there. Okay, flak right, flak right. We're gonna stay in defense to help you guys complete these turns. Kill that if you don't mind. ARPs are getting uh, pasted now. Um, Paint that and recall. 
Uh, we're gonna need these back because <laughs> there's a few squadrons out there. Um, rear. Launching drones. Losing engines is bad. And it's almost certainly going to take some hits. It did. Oh, that PCM. Oh, oh, that was amazing. All right. So. All right. We help that complete the turn. We're going to. Get that going. This is going to stay on yes, full sir. defense. Repair that hangar up. You're going to shift to offense. You have lots of armor. Beautiful. Okay. Just a constant barrage of missiles. These are going to suck. Like, this is a giant ball of still mostly healthy fighters. Um, mm, where are they going? Probably at this. You know what we're going to do? Flak left. And flak left. I don't know if that'll catch them. And it may be that the PDCs would be the better call. But we're going to try it. Oh my lord, look at that armor just trying. <laughs> and then as soon as... <laughs> oh, look at these though. They are getting mulched going through that flag field. Um, very nice. We did get that debris mine out if we need it. I don't think we will. Um, I'm going to tell this guy, don't bother. Go ahead and use your PDCs. Okay. Oh, and that's just... Guys, if we lose this armor, it's going to be sad. Uh, no flak, yeah. Yeah, there's plenty of flak going. Four Jupiters. Uh, no, two Jupiters, two Minervas. You can't have four Jupiters. The closest you can get is uh, three Jupiters and an Atlas, or two Jupiter Mark IIs and a Jupiter Mark One. Can't get four Jupiters at once, outside of like some story missions. Okay. Oof, this guy's getting roughed up. That, that Jupiter is taking damage. Fire at will. Oh, come on. You need to get back out there, armor drone. Oh no, oh no, he's at three. He's, shots are on the way. Uh, he's got some rear armor. Um, Guys, I'm not sure how I feel about losing this Admiral here. That is a heckin' expensive Admiral. All these Raiders just getting mulched. Uh, okay. Got it. You're gonna start doing independent operations. You need to get over here. I don't know what to do, guys. I think I think that's gonna go boom, and I don't think there's anything I can do about it. Yes, commander. I think there's the. <laughs> I think the shots that will kill it are already on the way. I think it is too late. Oh, I don't want to lose this admiral. Missiles incoming. Two, one. There he goes. Oh, that's so... that's painful. Oh, that's painful. Like, the the loss of the Jupiter sucks, don't get me wrong, but the... 
It's so much work getting an admiral that high level. Uh, where are they really recalling now? <laughs> oh, I should have jumped. That's what I should have done. You're right. I always forget I can do that. I'm jumping would have made sense. You are totally right. I should have jumped, Lancer. He's still got munitions. I still have to keep the flak up. Um, all right, so you're going to have to flak for yourself now. So say we all. <sighs> I should have jumped. Oh, I'm annoyed at myself for not thinking of that. How's your right armor doing? 60? 46? 36? Okay. Um, as soon as you get your left armor stocked up, we'll start switching uh, where these are going. This is getting mulched, then we'll start picking on the base stars deliberately. Incoming! You don't have any munitions coming at you. Um, go ahead and fire your munitions over there. How's this looking? Uh, better. Go ahead. <laughs> they really want to pick on these Jupiters, which I'm fine with. I'd much rather they pick on the Jupiters than the Minervas. Minervas are so thin. Uh, are we? Oh, that's a. Watch one of these guided missiles tag this PCM and just get all of them wasted. Oh, hey, look! More raiders! Back for more! How we doing? We're okay. That's... yep. That's dying. So say we all. Moving a little closer there. Um... I'll expend a PCM to disable a PCM. Oh, no, we got that. That's fine. That'll help mitigate those torpedoes, which I'm about to take on the chin, because I tried to be fancy here. Okay. Um... That's the end of the base stars, pretty much, which is nice. Jupiter is taking damage. Get I think also Get the him. end Get of him. those uh, raiders. <laughs> yeah, he. It, it would have been nice if I could have had him uh, transfer command. All right, I don't. Well, we've got lots of nose armor. Um, of course, I have nothing that can get Dreadus locks on these last three targets. Not really. They're all a bunch of size four ships with four kilometer Dreadus range. Of course, he has more. Well, that's big. Must be a base star. Um, if I send you, yes. And I'm not going to bother setting the focus fire because that will let the PDCs. Oh, you've got three torpedoes, three torpedoes, probably a similar situation. They should finally be tapped out. And I can outgun base stars by a lot. 
Um, let's do that instead. Fire munitions and fire munitions and right 36, right 46, right 19 fronts are all in pretty good shape. Let's say right, because it's going to take a few hits from this one as we come out of here. Boom. That's that one. Throw you. Uh, actually, let's do that the other way around. And we don't even need to go full. Nah. There we go. Oh, wow. Look at that. Even in neutral posture. Nice. Paste the left side of this. No, it didn't. <laughs> I was going to say. Um, that's getting close. We may actually have to turn. So say we all. PDC's just writing this. I'm going to pause it here. Look at that, down to 15. Not even a fuzz expired. It's just what it's doing. We'll kill it before we get to it, but it's going to be close. Good lord. Alright. You guys? Uh, yes. Okay, so you two fire munitions into that one. All right. All hostile marks are down. I'll let ministry know we did job. Let's get the replay of that. That was a large battle. <laughs> oh, at least these guys leveled up. That's painful. Our brave, brave fleet here. Lord, look at this fleet, though. So we've got one, two, three, six base stars, one, four <laughs> revenants, and four arachne. Oh my lord, it was huge. so many ships guys and we lost every squadron too so repairs and then resupply on this fleet is going to be painful we're just over uh, halfway through our time here thank you everyone for joining us my name is Sergeant Zedog you can follow me on twitch as well if you like seeing uh, PvP action. Drop a link for that real quick. Um, I stream every Saturday um, doing usually PvP stuff. Target is four, three, five, six, one. And yep, appreciate that. 
but we're going to be going for another, almost another hour here doing this campaign. And yeah, I agree, uh, Knight. 14 kills for one battle star is not the end of the world. Like, that, that's still a pretty uh, solid trade. Um, like, in the grand scheme of things, it's just... It's still painful. Especially when, as was pointed out, I could have just jumped it. I had like 226 tillium, which I think is, might, will probably, I don't know, that might not have actually been enough tillium to jump, do an emergency jump on the Jupiter yet. Don't have Ghost Fleet yet. Admittedly, if you haven't yet completed the prior campaigns, like, that's not too bad. You could definitely, you know, wait till you complete the prior campaigns. A little bit of a frame rate stutter there. Yeah, if you haven't uh, if you haven't finished them yet, you're you know it's not like you know the reinforcement pack or broken alliance where you know you're missing out on ships. Since the two uh, Ghost Fleet offensive ships for the Colonials aren't available in the campaign until the Ghost Fleet offensive campaign, if you're not yet to this campaign, you're not missing anything. Definitely, it's worth picking up, though. It's a great game. I do love it. I do love the new Fleet Admiral difficulty for just these nutty 14 Cylon ship fleets that you gotta knock out. Hang on here. Is this Minerva firing? Oh my lord. Uh, where? Let's. Is he firing top and bottom artillery? He is. Look at that. He's able to use the top and the bottom artillery during that turn onto this base star. Because his base stars are so huge. That's awesome. I love it when they do that. Oh, all those PDCs along the length of the Minerva shooting at that? Maybe add a Cylon campaign? Uh, we'll see. I mean... We're, uh, one more DLC for Season 2, uh, is confirmed, but that, given that we had basically three story DLCs for Season 1, and, uh, I'm guessing we're, we're gonna see the same three for Season 2, we'll have to see what happens after Season 2. Battle Stars are amazing. Uh, yeah. I do love it. And you know, we actually got to use a decent number of the munitions on the Minervas as well. At the Valkyrie predecessor. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if we see a Valkyrie predecessor in the next one. This is the, that right there at the end there is the only reason I don't like the <laughs> base starts exploding is the wreckage takes us so much space it gets in the way of the auto camp. Uh, Wing Commander or TIE Fighter in the BSG setting? Yeah, closest there were was that was the Battlestar Galactica online, which was good. But I don't know if it's gonna quite satisfy that. Oh man, the damage of these Minervas, though. Look at that. It's just because they never had to get off that full offensive posture. I weep. I weep. All right. Didn't like BSG Online. You know, I thought it was okay. Um, I just didn't really feel like putting the time into it that it was going to take uh, to really get far. All right, well, so I <laughs> guess we did at least get our threat level down. Favorite battle start. Uh, personal favorite is probably, like, the Jupiter 1. I really like it. Um, I know probably I'm... But, like, in terms of actual usage, the Artemis is overall better. Okay. Alright, so that fleet... Um, oh, interesting. It didn't break it up, even though it's over points. 
Oh my lord, look at that repair cost. Oh, that's painful. Alright. Um, I think what we're going to do is we'll say, we'll transfer this over to here to 27. Um, and we'll use this. We do have another Jupiter 1 here, of course. I have to clear my throat. Hang on, guys. Uh, okay, there we go. Now I can kind of breathe. Here, I can have more tea. There we go. Tea's gone, like, full-on cold there, but at least with all the honey, it'll lubricate the throat some. All right. So, losing the Admiral is painful, but we do at least have lots of Admirals. Don't put fighters on battle stars anyway, if you can make that decision. Oh, no. You always want as many fighters as you can. Like, <laughs> in my opinion, a Viper 2 can do anything that, any, that the other Colonial Squadrons can do. So you always need more of them. I mean, you saw that fight there, like... Even as it was, there was still like six, seven, eight squadrons there that had to get mulched by the flag fields. Um, yeah. You always need more fighters. Um, so, even for the Minerva. I mean, I could see like if you've already got like 10 squadrons and two of them are on a Minerva, you might put like Taipans on the Minerva. I would probably do that. I could do Taipans on the Minerva. If I already had a lot of fighters. Anyway. Um, BSG-75 still waiting on an Artemis, which we haven't even begun construction on. Alright. Let's begin the construction. And we're going to run another resource mission here to get more tillium and wait for that to get finished. This is as simple as it gets, Commander. Ministry wants these Big tillium supply here. Um, let's... Colony government is offering a good bonus on the objective, too. Let's see. Let's see. You are at rank 10. Do we have anyone else that's kind of close? Uh, Silas Nash, already at rank 10. Okay. So we only have five admirals. That's not a lot. I would have liked more. Um, okay, so closest is here. We can promote her, though. So let's go ahead and do that. Get that extra posture range. You know, I kind of wish that this, I, sh I should remember to do that as a recommendation, to rephrase decisive leader to plus one leadership. Saying plus one posture range made sense but when they didn't yet have this leadership stat showing. Now that they have the leadership stat showing, it would be nice if it said plus one leadership so that it was clear that this plus three includes that already. Anyway. Uh, run a resource mission to lose resources. <laughs> we did, kind of. We did, admittedly. Uh, yeah, considering uh, we lost a Jupiter. <laughs> uh, but it did get our threat level down, which will help on a few different things. So, uh... Cost to resupply this is 28, 123, 186, 216. You know what? I think we're just going to sit. <laughs> uh, we're just going to sit a turn. We've got four turns to get this done anyway. We're just going to sit a turn rather than... Guys, I don't have enough fleets for this. <laughs> we, don't, we haven't been able to get enough construction. All right. Um...
See, the problem here is I have all these Jupiter 2s that I built when I was only on Admiral. Fleet Admiral? That's not going to cut it, though. <laughs> so, um, how are we doing here? We're close to Minerva there. Um... What is this? This is 75 waiting. Uh, okay, so I feel like what we might need to start doing is doing... something like this for all of these Jupiter 2s. So that we have some more fleets on the board. Uh, let's see, so if I were to do, if I detach that one, and then I can transfer this into, was that 67? No. Here? I don't know, what's, what's 58 got in it now? That can take another Jupiter 1. Right? No. No, not right. Alright, here, we're gonna... You're going to jump and just only get partial restocked. Um, can we get another fleet going here? Let's see. Detach and detach. And you already have orders. Okay. You and detach. Alright, so we need a Jupiter 1, an Artemis, and two Artemis. What are we... I have one Minerva that I can use as a replacement in here. Alright. So we're going to rename this one, I think. What we'll do is we're going to say BSG12, rather than Fleet12. And you guys can be BSG27. Oh, that's nice that actually, because it's alphabetical order, it puts them up at the top. Eight and sixty-seven. There we go. Okay. Oh, that because that one's on the board. Okay. So let's see. We need this guy can get transferred into twelve. These are a whole bunches of Jupiter twos which are pretty much never going to get see any action. Um, you are a replacement. You are going to... That's a Celestra. Uh, you are going to go here. Alright, so I saw that Celestra. Who needs a Celestra? You would be points. You need one. You need one. And you need one. Okay. That one has one. That one doesn't. That one doesn't. And that one doesn't. Oof, we need a lot of Celestras. Uh, 
All right, everything else in here is Jupiter 2s that I really should transfer. Um, hmm, do I want to transfer these? You know what I should do, at least, is uh, we're going to transfer this one into 58. And we're going to detach the lower level one, at least. And you are going to go into 67. And we'll detach the lower level one there. That way, our admirals are a little better protected. Um, and I think I think we're going to do this. We're going to trade these out. We're going to get some Tillium. I hate doing that because, of course, these things are so expensive to build. But I'm not going to be using them on this fleet admiral difficulty. So we'll keep like two or three, I think. We'll, we'll keep these veteran ones. What kind of new battle stars Slytherin will envision in Season 3? Can you name a Jupiter for the bro moment? <laughs> uh, probably not. I like them having nice names. Even though I never really look at them. But, you know what? Here's what we will do. We'll name a Celestra that. I'm just going to do it, bruh. There we go. We have the Celestra, bruh. <laughs> okay, so I still only have one fleet that I can send out on missions right now. Um... But we do have a Minerva coming up. I could, let's see. I could convert that into a second fleet like this. So if I were to um, detach this, transfer this into 12, and then, where's, I had, didn't I have another Minerva? Did I accidentally transfer the Minerva? That would be sad if I did. I think I accidentally transferred the Minerva, guys. Well, never mind. <laughs> Go back to 58. Uh, I'm only going to get 285 back if we cancel this now. Uh, do I want to? I'm just going to let that finish building just so I have a spare. Okay, so we have 1626 Tillium now, so that'll pay for some resupply. Do, hmm, do I want to start some new construction as well? I think I do. So let's uh, take an Artemis. We'll start building another Artemis. All right, let's get one more mission knocked out. We got a half hour. Let's do it.
Oh, jeez. Alright. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Hey! Only 10 ships this time, guys. That's nothing. 10. That's nothing. Alright, let's grab uh, the PCMs. Drop that in, and there we go. Okay, let's rock and roll. Man, me and my 65 hours of commander difficulty is crying right now. Tetris is like, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it takes some getting used to, that's for sure. But, you know, as you saw, you just, you do a lot of running away and shoot, you know, make them come at you as much like a lemming train one at a time as you can. And it's pretty manageable there. Um. Uh, do I want to climb? Probably Launch not, but I'm going to do it. Okay, deploy plating. Launching drones. It does help that the Celestial drones carry 10 extra plating. Um, that's a huge advantage. And we're going to get this chucked out. Launching mines. Launching mines. Are we just the greatest blip for them as well? Time to make a bunch of mama toasters cry. Biggest thing I've learned Mark II Vipers are beastly. They are. Um, yeah. Mark, Mark II Vipers go a long way. I mean, and it, if you're wondering, by the way, about like... Let's see. Alright, well, you guys are the command ship. If you're wondering, by the way, about like how one regularly uh, gets to be able to beat, you know, these 14 and 10 fleet Cylon, or 10 ship Cylon fleets. Um, don't bring nothing but battle stars like I'm doing. Like, I'm doing this because it's fun and it provides some extra challenge. Nothing but battle stars is not an advisable way to play. Um, oh, we're not catching nearly as many of these as I would have liked. Um, okay. Yes, Commander. You guys... Uh, we're gonna... Run these over here, and I think... We're gonna... Try again with the uh, debris wall here. Fortunately, with uh, this much distance, we've got some time to get munitions in the way where we can try. Come on, pop, go pop, pop. Nope, nothing. All right. That's too low. There we go. And let's see. I'm 
just gonna tell these guys to go ahead and just defend that, actually. Ah. Uh, nothing but battle stars with nukes and one brick for fighter support worked pretty well in the base campaign. Um. Yeah, I mean, you can... You can make pretty much anything work, as I said. Uh, like, I really do like doing things like uh, three Jupiter ones on an Atlas. Um, I think, like what I've got here, where it's two Jupiter twos and two Minervas, is probably my favorite overall. Um, they so. They didn't do any more balance. Well, okay, I mean, they did do a little more balancing. Um, Atlas are now more expensive. Uh, that's got to die. Confirmed squadron target. Uh, flak right. Flak right. You guys. Sorry, I, I can't uh, do things and talk at the same time. It doesn't work. Um, that's going to die. We're going to leave. Yeah, the ARPs are going to go on a tour, I think. Okay. Um, so, uh, a few things got rebalanced. Rangers got cheaper. Atlas got more expensive. But in general, things are pretty much the same. Um, the AI didn't get any improvements, but they did do some bug fixes. Uh, but very clearly, some of them must have been in the AI because the AI is clearly a little bit better. Um, uh, mostly, a lot of this though is you know the new fleet admiral difficulty. That concentration. <laughs> Let's see what else is in the chat here. Uh, Conan Tunnel of Death can work well with debris mines when they're grouped up tight. Oh yeah, they definitely can. I, I try not to abuse the AI too much, but you can definitely like do, you know, tunnels of death. Like they're all of these squadrons are pretty much going to chase the Celestra. I could just have the Celestra keep running away and have debris mines fire along the trail. That would definitely work. Uh, Waggle has an excellent gif of that. Um, where he just slags with one debris mine, like five squadrons. And it's beautiful. Um, why do the projectiles have tracers? Doesn't do that for me. Uh, you have to have the graphics turned up. Um, and they only really show up with the Battlestar artillery. I want to say it only shows up with the max graphics setting. It would be nice if the Minerva had 80 armor as a size four would still be more squishy than Artemis and would feel right for its points cost, in my opinion. Uh, maybe. Speaking of, that does remind me I should switch <laughs> what we're armoring. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, especially with... Um, Oh, nice. I think, uh, yeah, they're, all of these squadrons are lemming after the uh, Celestra here, so. Here, you just keep yes, on sir. running. You guys uh, close up on that. Yeah, I kind of, especially with the Celestras now being able to hit uh, 30 armor bonus per side and, you know, carry 40, I don't know so much that that's really warranted. Um, boosting the Minerva's armor. Unfortunately, the the kind of uh, 
hard data that would really tell us how to balance this. There aren't really enough players doing PvP to let us know when that sort of thing is warranted. <clears throat> Whew. Man, that was a cloud of fighters and we mopped them up. Beautiful. I love it. Um, no munitions coming at this Minerva, so we can drop our flak and uh, you know what? You know, that's kind of weird that Retreat is on the right-click menu. Not gonna lie. Anyway, <laughs> total non-sequitur there. I'm on it, Commander. And if they do bring in another Battlestar below the Artemis, would give it breathing room to have 60 armor. Uh, yeah. I mean, I don't... I don't feel like there's a problem with another ship having 60 armor. There's... Colonials have, what, the Adamant and the Minerva, I think? Maybe Defender? What's the armor on the Defender? I don't remember. Um, it might have 60. Eh, I don't know. Uh, let's see. What are we doing? We got nukes incoming. Hey, you just fire your scramblers. Uh, could have guided missiles coming back at us. Beautiful. <clears throat> Um, okay. Nice. Look at all this. Look at all these fighters we have left, guys. Jeez, I don't know what I'm... I don't know what to do with all this. So say we uh, we're gonna recall them. <laughs> is what we're gonna do. Uh, just because paying for replacement fighters is expensive, and so I'd rather them go get their repairs. Missing we'll use the ARPS to scout. ARPS per fighter model are fairly durable. What happened to Agathon? She is gone. Um, are you talking about the Praetor? Uh, the Praetor is tasked, uh, we find out at the beginning of the campaign, she is tasked with other duties. Uh, we're not told. Um, Sarkis? I think it's Sarkis. Uh, tells us he, he's got her on other assignments, but he doesn't say what. Um, as a wild guess, I would say it's probably... Uh, Ghost Fleet Offensive? Does Recall replace fighters or just repair existing ones? It will replace fighters. Um, and in fact... There is actually a, a narrow gap possibility to uh, where you can bring back a squadron, like if it lands at zero, like it takes the last point of damage as it's landing, you can be at zero health showing and uh, still repair it to full. Really what it is is because you do like, you know, tenths of a point of damage or whatever at a time to squadrons mostly. Uh, you know, if the game rounds down, you know, it's like 0.4 remaining hit points to zero, you'll recall with zero hit points showing. Um, I've had it happen a few times. Uh, it does happen. It's pretty cool because, you know, if you get it on something with a good repair rate, you know, you can get like almost half the squadron back in one turn because of the way the repair mechanics work. That's awesome. Okay, you guys go find me more targets. And um, yeah, that's gonna I'm 
Wrong damage. side of targets. You know what? I like completely forgot to pay attention. What have you been repairing? I have no idea, to be honest. I've gotten so distracted talking. I think it's been repairing the thing that's getting shot at just out of sheer coincidence, which works out. But I've been so busy talking, I don't know. Minerva is taking damage. Keep that flash well up. I need flash reload now. It oh, okay, it took five points of damage. Yes, sir. <laughs> I was just like, what? Uh, size fours. Confirmed what is this? Target. That's a scrambler. We can ignore it. Unless they have virus mines. Doesn't look like it. Um, do I want to just sell flak and just charge in? No. So let's see. Six, seven, six, seven, 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 six, six. So... Uh, your projectiles from your heavy cannons look different than my game. Is that a DLC sort of tracer? No. So the Battlestar Artillery got a tracer effect in, like, Anabasis, I think it was, to be more consistent with how things looked in the show. Um, it is a perk of having graphics on high. Uh, so if we were... If you come into graphics options and... I don't remember which one of the, if it's texture quality or model quality, but turn one of these settings up that you'll get those tracers. Mm. Okay, let's see. If the Battlestar ours only isn't best for Fleet Admiral, what comp might you run otherwise on another playthrough? You mean like a challenge comp? And I mean, Battlestar only is fine for Fleet Admiral. Like, I'd be perfectly happy running this. Like, that's what I'm doing now. It's just, it is not the most effective. Like, you can definitely do better than this, if that makes sense. In terms of general fleet composition, what you should bring. Um... But if you're not wanting to run, uh, you know, challenge comps like this, and you just want to know what's effective, um, what, like, two Artemis and two uh, Atlas will get you pretty far, and that's three, four, five thousand points and change. So, you know, you can... You know, add to that whatever you'd like, and it'll work just fine. Um, you know, for comparison, the two Atlas, two Artemis, is the same fighter complement as what I got here, and you've still got almost three thousand points to add to that. So you know, you could add a Jupiter two. Um, yeah, you you'd have exactly enough points for a Jupiter two. You could do what else would fit in that? You're painting that one. Um, you could add, you know, your heart's desire of rangers. Yeah, there's there's lots of things that you could add to a two Artemis two Atlas core. Yeah, so that guy's um, is over point two Jupiters two Atlas and a Minotaur is over point cap by four hundred. Yeah. So you could drop one of those Minotaurs for a Manticore. That would give you some scouting, uh, Hawk. Um, and hit right at the number of points you're looking for. Do I know details on weapon types? I don't understand when and why Battlestar cannons are better than, say, light cannons. So, uh, in general, bigger guns should go after bigger ships. Smaller guns should go after smaller ships. That's just... Kind of an in general, not a hard and fast rule. Um, there, There is uh, 
and, and smaller guns should go after smaller ships. Uh, and the reason for that is because the size of a target does affect the likely the accuracy of shots hitting it. So big size four ships doesn't really matter if you're using low accuracy uh, battle star artillery or heavy guns. Small ships like the Nemesis at size two, the Orion at size two, or you know the various medium sized ships at size three. That's you know Revenant, Minotaur, uh, Janus. I think is size three. Uh, Ranger. You know all those size three thing. Uh, Arachne, Phobos. Those are all both size three. You know those lights and mediums. Uh, do better because their high accuracy helps offset the small size of the target. Uh, though it's worth noting, mediums are a very good middle of the road uh, size gun. Uh, they hit hard enough to not really care about uh, if it's a bigger, higher hit point target, like, you know, 200 hit point base star. Um, or, you know, 165 hit point Jupiter. Uh, whereas they still have the accuracy to hit smaller targets. But yeah, heavies and Battlestar Artillery generally want to try and use them for hunting down bigger targets. That said, though, focusing down an individual target at a time is still kind of the better idea. Um, Having one Minotaur can be helpful for finishing revs a bit quicker. Oh yes, definitely. Um, still can't beat an Abyssus yet. You know, I need to take the time to do that myself, honestly. <laughs> Don't tell anyone I admitted to that, but I, I haven't actually taken the time to get all the way through an Abyssus yet. Um, but yeah, uh, PTCs, uh, colonial PTCs, mostly there to provide flak, uh, but you know, at closer range, they do work on squadrons too. Uh, the only real downside to using them against squadrons is if it's close range, the enemy might well just be in flak range. So you gotta kind of look at how you want to use them. Cylon PTCs, excellent at knocking out squadrons or size two ships like Celestras, which is why when a Serastes comes after your Celestras, it hurts because they're good at that. Um, it's worth noting that uh, Serastes and Revenants have bonus to accuracy, which helps them a lot with using the light guns that the Revenant has and the PDCs that the Serastes has. Um, lights, they're good, you know, lighter ship um, weapons, good for that nemesis. <laughs> um, other things that only have light guns uh, but that's it you know if you've got two or three orions that's you know 12 or 18 light guns that'll pull down even battle stars pretty quick so uh, light guns and mass still do work mediums as i said good middle of the road good in pretty much everything with a pretty solid accuracy and also solid damage heavies and battle star artillery you're going to want to use those primarily against your size four targets but, you know, just like lights, get, an, uh, get a decent number of them, you know, yeah, they might not hit a smaller target as often, but the heavier throw weight can make up for it. So, uh, th there is one important difference. Uh, lights and, to some extent, mediums are actually still pretty good at knocking on squadrons. Um, so feel free to use those there. Uh, whereas, you know, heavy guns, battle star artillery, you can use it if they ain't got nothing else to shoot at, but it's not really doing you any good. Um, not very often, anyway. Uh, does armor play a role? It seems like light cannons have the highest DPS, so they get nerfed somehow versus large targets. Okay, so uh, hitting armor or hull will do exactly the same damage, uh, with the only exception really being, like... Uh, what is it? The cluster missiles? Or homing cluster missiles, whatever it's called. That Cylon munition that does extra subsystem damage that you should never use. It's not good. Um, and AP missiles, where they'll do more damage to armor than hull. Other than that, you know, all guns will do the same amount of damage to armor, all, even on the squadrons. Same damage to armor and hull. 
Uh, so it doesn't matter for that. Obviously, if you do start hitting the sub, the engineering subsystem, you'll end up doing more damage to hull that way. But you know, you could just as easily hack the uh, or EMP the engineering subsystem and do the extra damage to armor too. Um, so yeah, light guns uh, don't have the highest DPS. Bigger guns do have higher DPS, uh, even with taking into account accuracy. But the caveat to that is that's only against size 4 targets where you don't really have to worry about missing shots because it's a small target. If it's a small target, you will get better DPS out of the light guns. But if it's a big target like a battle star or a base star, then the heavy guns and the battle star artillery will do a lot more damage for you. 11 PDCs on Minerva is probably good for smaller sized ships with the Jupiter taking care of the flak duty. Yes, it definitely uh, helps out a lot for that. Um, Minerva's of course also have the medium guns on the back and the heavy guns on bottom, which I mean, I'd rather have the six battleship artillery versus four heavies on bottom or however many they have on bottom, might be five. Uh, but you know, it is nice for hitting the smaller size ships. Um, the really nice thing, of course, is the Jupiter's flak field is so large that it can amply cover both ships, meaning I can still let the Minerva's PDCs, which are even longer range anyway, um, keep shooting. So I can use the eight PDCs on the Jupiter to flak while I let the 11 PDCs on the Minerva do actual shooting. It's nice. Uh, equivalent to five light guns approximately, though at outer range, not sure how they perform versus light guns against size two and three capitals. So against uh, capitals, um, PDCs don't really have much of a problem with the accuracy uh, bracket, or with the range brackets. It's really against um, squadrons that the range brackets um, really start punishing PDCs. The PDCs have such a high accuracy that against capitals, you don't get much out of the shorter range. Does anybody else have any questions? I don't really want to start another match. We're down to our last three minutes, unfortunately. Um, I will say, uh, I do want to, since we've got a couple of minutes, uh, I want to get you guys a link for the official BSG Discord. Uh, so if you aren't already in the Battlestar Galactica Deadlock Discord, you should definitely come in and join here. <laughs> count down the jump. See, dog, count down. <laughs> I will do so. Um, but yes, you should come join us in the official Battlestar Galactica Deadlock Discord. Uh, even if you don't have Deadlock, if you just like Battlestar Galactica, we talk about Battlestar Galactica in general a lot as well. Um, and if you have been playing Deadlock, but you haven't really been able to get multiplayer matches or you want to get into multiplayer matches, this is the best way to do it. Um, unfortunately, the multiplayer community is not really large enough for you to be able to just join the lobby and get a match at any time. Uh, but, you know, we have a special matchmaking role there where you just tag at matchmaking and you can get a match almost any time of the day uh, that you're likely to be awake. So... You know, that's an excellent way to get into magic. <laughs> Hawkins is the uh, resident lore expert. And, you know, he can get into lots of lore discussions. Um, it's the easiest way to find out about betas coming up. Um, and just uh, talk with folks. If you would like to uh, see some multiplayer madness... I will, uh, you can join me on my, oops, helps if I can type a link correctly. Uh, you can join me on my channel. I stream on Saturdays, uh, almost exclusively multiplayer. Um, so you should totally come join me and hopefully, uh, we'll get to do this again sometime soon. It is unfortunately now, 
3 o'clock my time, 8 o'clock GMT. So that marks the end of the stream. Thank you again, everyone, for joining me. I'm Sergeant Z-Dog here on Slytherin Group. Thank you, Slytherin Group, again for having me. And this is Sergeant Z-Dog jumping in. 3, 2, 1, jump.